Okay, I will talk about reduce now. Reduce boils down a list of values into a single value. It's just, it behaves just like the reduce function in the array prototype in JavaScript, but it also uh, works on the objects, so it will uh, reduce the values into a single um, value. So here we have the sum uh, example. I will show it to you here. So we have this list, and the reduce function will just return memo plus num for each iteration, and it will the memo will start from zero. So the third argument you pass to the reduce function is the starting value for memo. And for so we can just trace it. So for the first first iteration, memo is zero plus one, which is the first element is one, and the return value from this function is the value for memo in the next iteration. So you need to return something here. And so now the next iteration num is two, but memo is one. So the return value will be three. So memo now is a three in the third iteration, and the value is a three. So the sum is six. Run it. Oops, let me console log sum. Run it. So the value is six. We reset this. Okay. And even if you did not pass um, a, a first value for memo, it will still work because memo, if it was undefined, it will take the value of a first element and the iteration will start from the second element to the end. So we can implement something like this. And by the way, this data here, just to show you an example at the end on how reduce can be used to group data, for example, this is an array of objects. I need to group it by uh, by the name, and the score will be the sum for the score. It's very easy to do and reduce, but yeah, this is just to implement it. So const reduce to will be equal to a function, and it will accept a couple of arguments. First one is the object, could be a real object. Second one is the function, the memo, the context. Okay. So. It's very simple, the idea behind it. So you just need to loop, sorry, for n, remove everything, for each key in the object. So if this was, if object was an array, this will be the indexes or the indices. Or if this was an key, an object, sorry, a normal object, this will be the normal keys. So I just can, I just, I just will assign the value of the return from the function to memo for each iteration and at the end I'll just return memo it's as simple as that and I need to pass things here so the first argument is the memo now object key the value now the key now the object itself uh, but there are some cases we need to handle and so basically this looks very simple so I can just show it to you that this works so const, or I can just use it here. In the, in the repository, this will be a little bit more uh, different. So it will have more examples and organized in a different way, but the code is still the same. So you use reduce to just console log sum, and let me pass a first value for reduce, for memo. So it's still six, which, which works. This is the basically the idea. But we need to handle this case where you where you did not pass the memo. So it's now not a number, which is bad. Okay. So what we'll do, I will check. So if not memo, I need to handle two cases. If this was an array, take the first element and assign it to memo and loop from the second element to the end. If this was an object, take the first key and extract that value for that key from the object and assign it to memo and delete that key from that object. So I need to add two cases. So first thing I need to check if the object is an array. So I'll define a value called is array. It will be equal to array is a dot is array. I will pass it the object. And yes, so I'll need to check if this is an array, do the following else another thing. But before that, since I need, for each iteration, I need to pass the, ori the original object, the original array or the original object, I need to save the values that I will iterate on. If you did not pass a memo in another variables, 
I hope this is clear, but yeah, so a ray holder and the object holder. So if you did not pass a memo and the, and the value of the object is an array, I will just assign memo to object to shift. Shift will give us the first element and remove it from the array and resize it automatically, which is very nice. And the array holder will be equal. Now, since the object or the original array is less, uh, or you can say starts from the second element to the end, we can just copy it inside this array holder. So object like this. And else memo will be equal to, oh, sorry, I need to get the first key. So key will be equal to object dot keys object and I can extract the first element like this so I'll destruct the first element from the array now memo will be equal to object of key and object holder will be equal to copy from that object and then delete uh, object holder of that key so I'll delete it from the object holder not from, not from the original object since I will pass it each time but I think I made a mistake here. So what I will do, uh, I think this, one second, let me just try something. I need to put the value that, have, the first element, I need to put it again in the array. So I can just, uh, I don't think it's push, it's unshift, unshift and I will put the memo here, just to preserve this value. And why does this complain? Okay, so was never used. Yeah, yeah. So this is basically it. But here in the in the for loop, I need if you pass the memo, I need to loop through the object itself. So the original, the whole list, this one, two, three. But if you did not, I need to pass from two that to the end. So I can't check it like this. So first thing, if, if this was an array loop through the array holder else loop through the object holder but if you did not if you pass the memo this array holder will be undefined so you can just put or the object itself also here or the object itself so basically like this so the whole idea behind this is just to assign first element first value to memo and to preserve the value for the original object so we can pass it like it is at the same time we should uh, iterate from the second element to the end so this should also work so reduces now for which does not work correctly uh, maybe I did a mistake I think here yeah. which is weird I'm not looping through the Uh, yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, my, my bad, sorry. So, you need to pass the value not from the object, original object. So, if this was an array, so this will look a little bit bad, but if this was an array, get the value from here. I don't know, I can't just, uh, yeah, I can't just continue. So, if this was an array, get the value from the array holder. But this might not be here, right? So I think if I just put it here like this. So this was an array. Or you know, I think, yeah, something like this. So if we have array holder or the object holder, else, Yeah, I think that's it. So, I think we can do this. Yeah, this is totally valid, by the way. So, if you have one of these, so if you passed, uh, if you did not pass a memo, and you passed array of or, or object, this will be here. Uh, 
executed well basically if you just did not pass a memo if you pass the memo i will just loop through the object itself so this should work six nice uh, it's a little bit weird and now we need to handle the context so if we pass the context to this else do that the original thing so just with code and pass the context and i will do it here also so it looks very messy but uh, it works also code context so yeah it's a little bit big so things are starting to become a little bit more complicated and now i'll show you the example with this data here so yeah so const as will be equal to reduce to with the data and i will group the data by name and i will sum the score so for now i'll, I'll return an empty object and the initialized value for memo will be an empty object so memo i will destruct this uh then oops the name and the score from each object and for the return i will just uh, destruct the memo so i will have everything i had from the previous iteration in the current object and i will put the name as a dynamic key will be equal to score so let me console log this this is not the end function but uh, let me show you we have reward as 10 and sarah's 20 and by the way this is the last uh, i can prove it to you so let's put it 90 and like so this is the last element for each group you can think about it so we grouped the data but we did not uh, aggregate it by the score so i can fix this by summing the previous score so plus memo which we stored in the memo so if you think about it memo after the first iteration will look like this would look like at least this part score no, name so sorry sorry memo of name so plus that which will be the previous value uh, from the previous iteration like this so but the first time it's undefined so wrap it in parentheses or zero so reward 50 is out of 60 which is correct we have three twenties and four um, and three twenties and five tens which is correct so this is basically it and yeah it's a little bit hard but uh, you can understand it thank you um i forgot to show you an example where we can reduce an object to a single value so console log sorry console log reduce to let me scroll down so i'll pass it an object with the first key is uh, sum one equal to one sum two equal to 20 to 30 and sum three will be equal to 100 and i need to sum these the values so i should have a value uh, an object with the key sum and the value for sum of all of these so maybe this uh, is a group of uh, users and you need to sum all of them so okay the, f the second argument here is the reducer function so memo and val key and i will return just an object with the sum key equal to val and to sum the previous iteration so memo dot val or that does not exist zero and i will start by an empty object so run this we have 100 which is not correct maybe i did something wrong this is the last uh... oops yeah, yeah so this makes sense because i'm accessing the val from the memo the previous iteration and it's sum not val so yeah this should give us 131 which is correct so yeah you can map uh, you can reduce array of objects or array or a single object yeah just i just wanted to show you this